Okay. Nice. Do you guys know why Tacoma stinks? Yeah, um, Justin and I actually Googled about the, the aroma of Tacoma. Um, we almost roomied, but then Annie doesn't know how to be an adult, so we said no. Yeah. Like, I know who I am as a person. So I was like, you probably don't want to live with me. Should be self aware. What's wrong with you? I told you. She does. Kristen, isn't he? He's wearing the Pope outfit. I know what's going on there. <laughs> <laughs> I go, mm -hmm. and then I see that he's got my chart, and so I say, sir, you can also look at your my chart account and look at your appointment times. Because mm -hmm. it also texts you. I'm a child. What did he, what did he say? Oh, and then he he's said you're like, a child or because you just got stuff all over your boobs? No, I'm a child because oh. I just spilled all over. Girl, shit happened. <laughs> um... I'm also half asleep, so. I'm so glad that you came. Right? I know. <laughs> That's why I, I was like, dude. From across the street. Okay, listen, I cannot drive right now any further. Like, it was why a rough night. Why can't you drive? You're tired. No. From Seattle, remember? Yeah. What, you can't drive? Literally, you should have right behind you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There she goes. <laughs> so she might have gotten hit by a car, so for safety, <laughs> you had a friend who was there for you. That's right. Essentially. I picked her up from a garage. So he starts like talking shit and he's like, this is absolutely ridiculous. This is the second time that this has happened to me. And then he's like, sounds like your problem, bro. Right? <laughs> and so I was just like, I'd be more than happy. He's like, what are you going to do about it? And I was like, I'd be more than happy to get you rescheduled. That's sick. I could not tell it. It's okay because Sabina can't handle it. Wait, Sabina, did she clean out the fridge today? She was going on air. She no, was she was. Yeah, she was in Pulse Boat. Okay. She was going on a tangent about the fridge and throwing out Tupperware after two days, and I was like, not only is that wasteful, but you're hurting the environment. Just stay the fuck out of the fridge. This is not Russia. I didn't say that, but I was just you really were definitely upset that. Yeah. Huh. That's like the lady who's like, I'm making a Thanksgiving turkey, but we don't eat the dark meat. So we just throw it out. The fuck? I'm oh. hungry people. Um, I don't know. Buy a turkey breast what, instead. What, Why what, do you put yeah. the turkey? The boobs? Like, that's it. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You throw out the leg? That is, I love that shit, okay? That's half black. That's okay. the best. It's juicy, it's moist, mm -hmm. it's good. I like those fast twitch fibers. <laughs> but that just made me so sad. I was like, seriously? You just throw that shit out? That's <laughs> oh my god, what are you doing? Jesus, I don't know. Did you get orange chicken? No. You got excited chicken. Do you need like a blade? I need like, I don't know. I'm trying to find out. I figured it out now. We're good. What's that thing I do? So you can take a piece off and cut it? Instead of just breaking the blade. That's coming. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I love that my face is on fire. Right? Mine is so spicy too. Anybody else? I only, and I got a two. I got a five. And Did I you love really? it? That's what Justin would want. But I like to keep my You guys are about to see like red fire. Me too. So I think it's really like My face is on that level. Like the stocky bomb. We slammed it so hard. Like straight up table. Love it. Yeah, I so he just called you a bitch because you wouldn't help him out? No, he called me a bitch. Um, Did you note that in his heart? That he called me abusive? a bitch? Uh -huh. No, I just said. You should note it in his heart that he's verbally abusive towards you. Mm -hmm. I'll you remember. Let me in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Why do you think um, we one dude with the motorcycle? Oh, yeah. She, he was an hour late for his appointment. Or no, he completely missed his appointment on Tuesday, and then they said that he was late or whatever that he needed to like reschedule. Oh, he was so. Girl, I rescheduled him to that appointment originally and told him when it was. That's the objective today. That's for the rest. You want? But I was so worried that he might lose a leg. Who? His podiatrist woman. Is that the guy who always wants his snacks? And yes. he was really annoying for Cheryl. Okay. He was supposed to have a stress echo the other day. Mm -hmm. or Tuesday. Yeah. He didn't come? No. Oh, mm -hmm. I bet she was elated. She gave me a hug and she was like, our best friend didn't no-show today. <laughs> yeah, he's such a really annoying. Yeah, anyway, so like, the patient was mad because he couldn't do his echo oh, yeah. and LEA okay. stuff. Like, today. So, he's looking at that. Nice as far as I once was. <laughs> so Echo's an ultrasound. And he said he was leaving? Yeah. Do you feel? Because she ordered the test and he couldn't do it the same day. Because, well, he can't order them. I had you guys schedule oh, well, those days. I was trying to get him rescheduled for after the testing. 
but for some reason he stayed on there for the day. That be changed. So he came in. Who called him? Um, I think Jessica and Angela. And they didn't cancel. Oh, and his Wednesday wife morning. too was like going off on I me. I sent a message to the front at like eight eight thirty this morning. As they were walking out. He was After like, I make sure that she yeah, thanks for nothing, schedule. bitch. And then he came in. Yep. He was like, oh, what? I was like, have, have a great day. Yeah, mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, That's so cool. I literally said, mad. have a great day. And maybe five um, minutes. Yeah. Five I can book. believe that. Yeah. But it's not real like, kindness. I know. Oh, it's but, like, yeah. And then I'm walking him out. Bag of dicks for dinner. He's like, do you have a business card about the baby you just saw? Oh. And we're walking A little bit of a condescending tone, too. That's so terrible. I was like, yeah. yeah, like when I get old stinkers in there, you know, he's like oh, kind of irritating. Like, well, you don't know anything, or you don't tell me anything. Oh, this is your yeah. job. You need, you need to first off step the fuck down, because <laughs> this hourly employee does not care about her employment with you. That here does not. It's so pathetic. I'm sorry that he said that to you, but oh, it's fine. Like I've had patients I wish we say that all the time, but like I've never had a patient say it to my face. He was really nice to me though, right? So usually, if it's just over the phone, it's like, sir, I'm trying to help you. If you continue to speak to me this way, it's very robotic at this point. Like if you continue to speak to me this way, I'm gonna. Like and this conversation. Like, I know this where you live. Like, <laughs> like, you had a dopamine schedule. You can't be late to those. Yeah. Mm -mm. You can't be late to your dopamine. <laughs> We're all like. <laughs> oh, curry is so spicy. Is your spicy? Mine's out of oh. control. It's not bad, but it's a little spicy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I feel like a giant pussy right now. Like it's definitely makes like, my nose a little red. Yeah. Or like, it's, it's a two. one. The two. But it's definitely like not June. Maybe this is like authentic. <laughs> Are you sweating yet? <laughs> you look all cray. Are you okay? Oh, I'm sweating. Yes. Do you I love to get stinky when I eat. <clears throat> I'm not getting stinky. No, no, I. You're not. Wait, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you getting, girls, you want to get in here? Because after today, I sure as fuck don't. I went through all these different deodorants trying to do like a natural deodorant. Not that I care about nature and the environment, but just to, you know. And she's like yelling at her yeah. about <laughs> re destroying like, the environment. She, she, Pyrex <laughs> is detrimental to our planet. You cannot just continue to throw it out. Reusable, reusable. All those not plastic trashy. containers, I kept trying to get people to rinse them out for you, mm -hmm. but today, yeah. The good news is the salad is not that oily, so it won't destroy the recycling as far as like if you put a pizza box in there, yeah. and that can ruin an entire just beautiful, healthy bundle of recycling. You can have a pizza box. But anyway, here we are. Okay. Yeah, I would totally hate your roommates because you're a bunch of douchebags. So you don't recycle. Are you kidding me? Who's going to save this planet? It's not going to be us. But it's so much pizza. So you can't recycle pizza boxes. What the fuck? Don't you know that? All they recycle. So that's the only boxes we have in our house. Okay, that and douche sitting like in a chair. Boxes, probably. You need to burn mm -hmm. those. That's like beer boxes. Beer boxes mm -hmm. are recyclable. Mm -hmm. Recycle games. <clears throat> that doesn't happen. What is with your selective recycling? Why even recycle? So like you're to only gonna recycle the shit that you can't recycle in the cans and the healthy stuff that can be reused to make more <laughs> aluminum. Like you're like, no, not that stuff. I'm just gonna put the pizza in there. So basically, you, you're wrong with you're what's wrong with the problem here? You and your pizza box recycling. Let me talk to this roommate oh. of yours. I'm gonna take his headset off. I'm gonna break it in half. I'm gonna tell There's him. Three <laughs> <of them. laughs> There's three is, of them. So I will kick them all on. Okay, I'm real big. She's one of them. He hasn't seen me standing up yet. Okay, this looks small right now, but when it gets up here, it's real big. Okay, and it's 2019. Virtual reality is in. Call of Duty, fucking out. Just saying. <laughs> Gaming my ass. You recycle my mochi. What a bunch of butt holes. Or you can play none of them and just be an all person. I'm gonna miss Caitlyn mm. so much. <laughs> right? Yeah. That's just terrible. I gotta go to my VR headset to escape. <laughs> Which my fiance bought, and it's so fun and so crazy. And yeah, I got to come over one night, and I need to have a VR party at my house. Yes. Like it I have one of those like ASAP. Samsung VRs. It's very disorienting. Uh, there's a flight. It's full. My brother's got a big one. Yeah, yeah he has to like that. mount yeah. sensors around. Mm -hmm, that's there. how my brother says. My brother literally has like these um, like cables mm -hmm. so you that he mounted around. on the ceiling of his what? bedroom. Yep. So you can actually like move around the room, oh, and it like goes with you. Hurry up and get on that, and then I'll come over. You haven't seen what he's done down there. I have not. I'm like he spent over four hours on Sunday, like fixing this to his liking okay. and adjusting the cameras and weekend. locking the box. I'll come over. And and drink. Yes, I'll I'm telling you, it's, I'm gonna make you go to outer space. That was the scariest one. Uh, to be fair, I was scared of all of them, but 
And I've played like VR before, like really immersive, but not quite like this. This was just. I mean, I was a little fucked up when I was doing it too, so I think maybe that affected my judgment Probably. a little bit. Probably. It's a combo. Yeah, it was, it was nice. <clears throat> Alright, let's see. Oh, man. But do you think this is spicy or it's okay for you? No, it's okay. I'm sure nobody wants to try mine. Nope. No. Hell no. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to like get red hot. Oh, that chicken in Nashville is pretty fucking hot. Oh my god. That shit was ridiculous. Oh, remember the waffles? Oh, that was one of the best meals really of my life. <gasps> I'm not even gonna lie to you. That's so good. I know. That was straight up one of the best meals of my life. So I've Nashville already has told 40 people about this. Nashville like, has real good stuff. It was at 4 o'clock in the morning yeah. after the bar was closed. Uh huh. And uh, right across the street from the bar was a fucking diner. We walked mm -hmm. in, we were like, what do we want to eat? And then we all went, holy shit, chicken and waffles. Mm -hmm. Yep. All of us. So we all got chicken and waffles, and it was fucking delicious. Sounds delicious. It was. it was like the best food I've ever had after a, a bar. Was like, oh, this is like whoever decided the fucking diner down. here, the fucking genius. Like, you're killing it, dude. There's this place in Tacoma called Dirty on uh, Dirty Oscars Onyx. Annex. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Huh? It's called Dirty Oscars Annex. Dirty Oscars Annex. Mm -hmm. okay. Its nickname is DOA. They have really good chicken waffles. Dirty, I'm supposed to call him Dirty Anus. Huh. And Annie's like, hmm. it's an X. That's like, good. <laughs> not Anus. Anus. <clears throat> yeah, that and Martin's barbecue. Martin. Does <laughs> anybody know what Martin is? What was the meme of the. Do you know? Yeah, Martin. Girl, we're like from you the mean? same generation. Wait a minute. What? Okay. We ate nothing but Hattie Bees for like days on end. Hattie Bees? What's Hattie Bees? It's like a delicious chicken. Mm -hmm. What's what you want a chicken? I love chicken. <laughs> As he's eating chicken. <laughs> he's eating excited chicken. Yeah, it's not that exciting, honestly. It just tastes like chicken. It's soft. You should try Dunes. Yeah, don't Salt be a pussy. Try her. Oh, her food right now. Yeah. Like her chicken? <laughs> He's like, wait a minute, do you want to chicken? Can I come over? <laughs> My favorite kind of chicken is like this Korean chicken, it's called gampugi. No, I didn't even say that. You could do anything you put your mouth um, to in your day. It's like double deep fried chicken mm -hmm. with like this spicy glaze I'm down. sauce on the outside. Mm. Oh my god. I mean, anything double deep fried is amazing. Get that extra crunch. <clears throat> That's true. Oh good. That's hot. Mm -hmm. Well, if anyone ever comes to visit me in Tacoma, you know. We'll play on the weekend. I'll come out, tell me when. Okay. True. <clears throat> I just kind of wish I had my own place so people could actually come visit. And it wouldn't be super awkward. Girl, let's just get an Airbnb for the night. Oh, that's get some true. Get some bougie, chicken, a couple bucks, you know what I mean? With a pool? Just make sure you, you consult with me <gasps> with before. a hot tub. <gasps> Just consult with me before yes. you choose the area. Because Tacoma's kind of like. There's a real fine line between like. Not so great and We'll let you choose the place. <laughs> yeah, find us a place on Airbnb. <clears throat> mm -hmm. we're gonna, uh, yes. To Should be honest, like anything in North Tacoma, which is like actually it considered North End. Tacoma. Just find the Airbnb. We'll yeah, it's stinky. Well, it's just, mm -hmm. it stinks to be the city between all these people here and Seattle. Like, you're just, you're a thoroughway. You're not even really, like, it's just unfortunate. It's the armpit. Yeah, it's just very unfortunate. It's getting spicy now. It's like my lips are burning, <clears throat> so I feel like hot coffee is not the, the appropriate move for a beverage. <sighs> I don't got this. I don't know. I like to come though. I like Bellevue. I love to come most of my life, so. I like Planet Earth and we should protect it more so can so Tacoma can continue being stinky. And Bell Fair can keep okay. it nice. Do you guys know why Tacoma stinks? 
Yeah, um, Justin and I actually Googled about the, the aroma of Tacoma. Mm-hmm. Why it's what? so nasty. Yeah, it's a, it's a paper thing. factory. It's a paper mill. So it's a paper mill. Like That's butt. why it smells like sewage. In it's Georgia, they put uh, their paper mills way out in the country, so nobody can smell them except the weird people that work there and live there. Oh, trust me, my brother worked there for a while. Did he come home smelling like? Smelled oh. like sewage. Oh, it's so bad. It's so bad. He came. Mm-hmm. He came and visited me in the hospital one time right after I think you work. Have to be dead oh my god, it's so bad. People mm-hmm. probably would be like, um, this room needs a bed change. It's so bad. <laughs> yeah. Like that smell did not leave my room for like, I don't know, hours. Why didn't you just go and shower? Did you just, Why would you visit someone? He came over right after work because he didn't. My brother's the type of person like once he's home, he doesn't want to leave. Knocking down the and then I guess, okay, baby, There are times where I don't want to be home at all. Is that because your roommates don't recycle and all they do is play video games and whack off? I actually don't mind about I'm the I'm never recycling. picking up a controller from that house, I'm just saying. I'm sorry, was that? I was running my mouth and I wasn't listening. I really need to go home. I probably should come out for dinner right now because I have a lot of energy, but I really need to take down another notch. I'm feeling a little bit sweaty and my mouth is on fire. I think I'm putting me three eyes. I don't know. I'm never volunteering to work my off day again. Uh, what was that about? You didn't want to go home? What? You sometimes you, you don't like going home. Don't I don't home. like being at home sometimes. Why? It's boring. What? So what do you do for fun in this area? Mostly I go to the gym. Oh, okay. See, if I would have known you guys lived that far, I would have invited you guys over to the pool at my apartments. Obviously. No one ever fucking used it. What apartments were you at? I well, was over. Okay, where was all of our invites? Mm-hmm. Like, I didn't go to the it's pool. Too late now. I didn't go to the pool one time I lived there. I didn't go to the hot tub one time I lived there. Probably because Washington was a water pool. <clears throat> the indoor. It was outdoor pool, but indoor hot tub. What apartment? Uh, well, they just changed the names, but it was Waterview. Um, it used to be Panorama, which is like on the other side of Sunset. I'm struggling. I was straight up just eating the jalapenos. It's over in West Bremerton, over by the, the car dealership. So hot. Can I have a sing hop, please? Yep. Thank you. I couldn't you. afford it anymore. Like with my rent and everything else. Yeah. Can we get some more rice, please? Oh, thank goodness. <clears throat> um, <laughs> more rice. I think she hates me. <clears throat> So, the fuck? it's like, yeah, there was like, maybe like a slight left. Oh, no, not the rice. I said, oh. I think she hates me. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I said, um, that he was talking Spanish in her. The fuck? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with being open and culturally so, minded. We are American in a Thai restaurant. So you know when you come around, okay. when you come around Gorse and you go into like, Bremerton? Yeah. So they're like the cliff side apartments that are right there when you come up to the Y. Yeah. The rice helps. <clears throat> it's like right there. No. But I lived on the like, very top, so I didn't have to see you. Let me just you. add more rice. Like, literally, <laughs> my apartment backyard was just like a wall of trees. That's okay. How much is Oh, that's what your question was. Um, what was the question? How much is it? Her oh. question was, how much was my rent? So, with my rent and my electricity and everything mm-hmm. else, I was spending, living by myself, $1,400 a month. What? That's why I'm back. Place. That's why I left. <laughs> my mortgage is for a while. My mortgage at my old house was sixteen hundred a month. That's so cheap. My mortgage in Atlanta was seven ten. That's cheap to you. Seven ten. That's like, a nice mortgage. Four bedroom, two bath, two yeah. car garage, the acre other one. property. And that's the thing, like, <laughs> I tried so hard to find a roommate. I couldn't seven find ten. a roommate. So I ended up just. Bang bucket, I'm moving home. We almost roomied, but then Annie doesn't know how to be an adult, so we said, Yeah, like I know who I am as a person. So I was like, You probably don't want to live with me. Self aware. What's wrong with you? I told you. She doesn't, she doesn't cook, she doesn't clean, she doesn't do anything. The fuck? He does it all for her. Well, you, you better suck on good dick. I mean, I can. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But yeah, she chooses not to. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm kidding. kidding. I'm kidding. No, I would. Like, okay, well, this is. <laughs> oh my <laughs> gosh! Stop! I'm going to be married, like, eventually. So, what is it like? 
What aspect of it? All of it. All of it? Wait, do I have, I don't have to cook or clean anymore? I don't have to do the yard work? You have to start you that have way to though. Do what you don't want to do. Mm. I mean, if you already do it, it's too late. Yeah. <laughs> the only thing I do is laundry. That makes sense. I fucking hate the laundry. Damn it. I that is like my okay. biggest thing that I like. do. When you start doing everything, you're gonna end up doing everything. I've always done everything. You're mm -hmm. totally okay, we're just screwed. Right you can like, right? like, I've always been so independent. I've always been so single. Just scale it back one thing at a time. Yeah, so I wasn't. Yeah. Yeah. I was lucky. It weird for me though. I was lucky in the sense that my ex-husband, he was actually a clean person. So mm -hmm. the thing is like, he also did his own laundry, so he didn't like me touching his laundry. Yeah, because he doesn't want you to skip it. No, every time Chris gets back, he's like, babe, we're doing laundry. I'm like, I don't want to touch a nasty boat laundry. I would offer it to him. That's hilarious. <laughs> 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 Your boat laundry. Actually, it smells like <laughs> I mean, it's fucking gross. I would, I would yeah, offer to do his laundry, and he would never let me do it. I don't even want to do it. Why would I make him real? Because he doesn't want to do it. That's Plus, why. my mom and would like, kill me from the Yeah, he did his own dishes. He did all the dishes. What? Wait, he does everything? How does he like, how does that work? Or how do you, are you okay with that? Thank you. Thank you. What do you mean? You, oh, look how pretty. Thank you. Oh, how do you? I know. Are you jealous? Because my lips are about to be nice and Yes. Cool. Yes. Um. <laughs> Make it a mess. Anybody want more, right? Yes. And he's yes. like okay with that? Yeah. I know. Like, how, is that crazy? And so, so what I can't, happens if like, he's out of town? I can't do anything. Does your house go <laughs> crazy? Like a dumpster fire? Um, I need out. <laughs> so if he's you don't cook at all I like I can cook Hispanic food but I don't cook like regular people food if that makes sense regular. like American 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 any of these things called recipes where you like just follow the directions yeah. oh I've tried it produces so, a food why are you so oh, bad at cooking I've tried do you, you cook with just all directions no, no. like I've tried <laughs> I gotta like visually see it, you know? Yeah. They make cookbooks you can buy, like look at it and like shows you pictures and whatnot. How it's supposed no, to I need step active, step. like you have a Kindle, YouTube videos. YouTube. I yeah, do you, that. Just YouTube Gordon Ramsay, he cooks good food. See? I feel like he's a financial advisor. Gordon Ramsay is a cook. Probably. Dave Ramsay. Oh, oh yeah. Gordon Ramsay is the, the cook that does the Iron Chef shit where he yells at people. Oh, calls them pieces of shit and start cooking. Hell's Kitchen, Kendall? Yeah, that's the one. Mm -hmm. Hell's Kitchen. That's the one I'm at. I think he has a couple of shows. Yeah, but he also oh. does uh, like videos where he just cooks shit and says, hey, look at this, this is amazing. Oh, yeah. You just follow along. He talks really fast, so maybe put him like half speed. <laughs> he does talk very quickly. And you sometimes can't even understand and what he says. And he has an accent, so you're like, you gotta play back a couple times. What the fuck you just say? Oh, I'm good oh, okay. with accents. It's, it's all good. Hmm. Yeah, and then you just follow along and you. Like, not too long ago, I watched a video where he made a steak sandwich and it looks fucking delicious and I want to so make it. So we're going to have it. a cooking party at your house, is what we're saying. We're all going to come together and we're going to help you prepare a dish. What? I did not say that. I, I cooked two days I mean, that's that not like that's what you want. I mean, made, uh, <laughs> overnight <laughs> French, French toast. toast. <laughs> was that for the party? Mm -hmm. That Sounds was like good. I ate office. that. Like, Everyone liked it. Yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. cold. Yeah. I was like, what is this? This tastes like it tastes like French toast. It's I've never tried it, so I can't say no. It's not too sweet. That was so good. It's tomato milk. Thank you. Oh, so good. I had no peppers. idea. Well, I had an idea that it was like French toast something. But either way. Okay. Yeah. See, well, so well, you could make food. That's like I mean, the whole amazing. process. Okay, but I was like super stressed out. And now he's selling this. He, he ended up giving no, me a back rub afterwards. Because he knows how stressed out I get with cooking. Um, like whenever my mom would cook in the kitchen and I would try to watch her to like see what she was doing and like replicate it because I'm a visual learner, she would like kick me out and so I have like anxiety in the kitchen. Wow. Yeah. your dog. No, I, this is why I have roommates. I usually cook like five or six times a week. I wish I could cook. Yeah. Well, he owns the house as well. So Without I'm stressing like, out. Uh, mm -hmm. It's I'm like therapeutic like for me because I get to drink wine while I do it and I get to mix flavors. See, you could have probably played with my dog. My sister's a chef. My, dog my brother's a chef. My mom's cooking, not so good. It's usually like Weight Watcher shit. Mm. But, um, but I didn't really like cooking growing up because it was kind of like a forced stuff. thing. But then when I started like eating healthier and I was like, man, it's hard to go out to restaurants and find good things. Not so I started my dog home and started like perfecting recipes. And then when I was doing like rapid fat loss consultations in Atlanta, 
I kind of branched out a little bit, so I would meal prep for people for an entire week, and they started paying me. And I was like, seriously? And I would put everything in like prepackaged Tupperwares with the nutrition information on it. Oh, oh. Reminds me, I need to bring you back your Tupperware. Wow. <laughs> Why do you have my Tupperware? Thanksgiving. Oh, when yeah. When you and Dustin sent home like enough food for like three weeks. We had so much but food. She made a whole Thanksgiving the next day. Right? What? She made oh, yeah, I made that shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I wasn't invited so to this Thanksgiving afternoon. It, no, it was it, just, 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 just. It was only her, Justin, and me. Yeah, it was like we had already done a Thanksgiving thing on Thursday with the residents, and I got like all butt hurt about the turkey and. Was the turkey not good? There was just a miscommunication about the turkey, so I had been having this turkey that I was going to make and bring, and it was like my first time making a turkey, but then. It turned out so good. I thought it was delicious, and my gravy, mm. butter makes everything better. And apparently there was a miscommunication, and the people who were hosting the. Thanksgiving, like actually on Thursday, um, I sent the hostess a text message and I was like, hey, we got the turkey, is there anything else you need us to bring? And she's like, oh wow, we're going to have a lot of turkey, I'm making one too. And I was like, what the fuck? So I can't like freak out to her. I mean, I instantly like call my sister, I call my mom, I'm pissed, I'm like, what do I do? I'm supposed to make, now I have this turkey. turkey. Oh, she's cute. But I was like, you know what? I'm like my family has very few traditions, so we have to give her a and Thanksgiving is a big one. And right. since I don't get with my, to be with my family, right. I was like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm making everything my family makes for Thanksgiving. I don't give a shit. I'm we're doing it on Saturday. So she she you and me because I want to eat leftovers. And I was like, oh, well maybe I should invite some people. I don't really know. So I was like, Randy, you know, because her kids were out of town. No. That's why I want to go to Florida. Not out of town. Florida's in Florida. I get my dog back. I don't know, something happened with her that she's she like committed and then like failed and Mine she's really upset 10. about it. Um, yeah. She's so yeah, it ended up being like Sherry. It was super time. last minute yeah. as far as like, you know, cooking and everything. Or like coyote, yeah. Yeah. Or the but I thought something <laughs> afterwards, I was like, oh my gosh, we should have invited so many people to this because we had like the full feast from like dessert to appetizers to a fucking turkey. <laughs> I am I I'm stunned. She is like, a, the fact it's that you can like, yeah. wow. do all of that and oh, then yeah. some. Oh. But to an apartment complex, she's a black girl. Okay. Just follow them recipes. Mm-hmm. Oh, and that sweet potato chip. Well, no, she's I, actually really good. So oh that's my gosh, sweet potato. potato. Um, she doesn't have yeah, a runaway. Yeah, it's like away. a southern recipe. I can leave the gate open and she'll sweet, just stay. Sweet potatoes and sugar. <laughs> she's ten. Mm. Mm. Um, some vanilla. She doesn't really bark. Oh. Some brown sugar. Yeah. Mix it all up and like put it in a pan. Very much. And then you get chopped um, pecans. You mix you those with shut up butter and, and brown <sighs> sugar. Put them on top so they tell get Tell her to go later, bed. She'll go later, bed. Bake it. Sometimes when she's not eating, that on I'll yell at her to eat her food. To take, go eat her since food. I wasn't taking the fucking turkey. Made that Thursday to take and double bake. She likes to settle, but only for five minutes. And I was like, yeah. And then she'll just be like, fuck you. Too much. Um, not no, dessert. I'm just just I'm that like she she doesn't really sleep in my bed. So we even cut back the sugar um, like the you know. My, but like a, sometimes I'll like call her in the like bed. a three ring binder. She'll lay there for that probably my mom like gave me ten um, or fifteen minutes several years ago. So every bed. Christmas she gives me a stack of recipes. Not a lot of you know furniture. things that she's found in magazines or healthy things or things so that she just related to anything that I would like. And she puts them in like you know those plastic cover things so that I can add them to the three ring binder. So I go through and there's like recipes. Yeah. Some of our family like, recipes. I don't wake up with potato casserole. In the middle of the night, my dog is like, 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 on her bed. Yeah. Mm. See, I tried to deviled eggs. Eggs. Like, oh it in the middle of the night. But like, it didn't work. We put <laughs> sausage like, in the stuffing, which is amazing. And, and I, I made a turkey for the first time, which turned out so juicy, so delicious. And a gravy with amazing. Like, I'm full and I'm getting hungry. It was so good. I'll have to do it again. It's a blast. And I got the turkey for free. I was like, because she'll just sleep next to her bed on the floor. Yeah, I'm going to need that Mm -hmm. sweet potato recipe. It's ridiculous. Because that sounds (laughs) awesome. Right. The one she made, yeah, it was good. It's yeah. so good. Yeah. So good. Yeah. No, she describes how she made it. I'm, I'm like, going to make yeah. you guys all jealous. It's so easy. Because just make sure you just show your shit in there. Most adorable, <laughs> cutest picture of mm, my dog yeah. ever. I like. I kept getting those buns, those bowls where you put those like just a too. pad of butter in there, and it just. I know you used to have a lot of furniture, and then my mom got older, and now she's a person. Oh. You basically a child. Yeah. She what are you doing on here? Um, showing them my dog. Get the furniture. Get the table. Take the food. Oh, no. New so baby. Food. I was so bloated. I was trying to eat like so much more than I could. No I was just like, I so my dog also doesn't get table stop because um, she gets too fat when she does pay. Be ready for the most cheesy bitch ever. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's 
Ballet Ballet Potty Trainer. She was in diapers. She was in diapers for two weeks. She was in diapers for two weeks and then um, she wasn't anymore because she was fully potty trained at that point. Um, however, I did learn that the doggy diapers, because they have the hole for the tail, it only catches the pee. No. <laughs> so she still had those accidents, but Aww. then like she got. Those are easy to clean up. Yeah, those those are easier. Yeah. But she would like squat around the house because it was a girl. Mm -hmm. And then like after maybe like a week and a half or two weeks, she would sit at the front door. And wait to be let out. Mm -hmm. She's like, I'm tired of damn diapers. Get me out of here. Mm. Super cute though. Mm -hmm. I was like, after I took that picture, I was like, oh, so cute. Mother. <laughs> how, how big is she now? She is 75 pounds, something like that. That's she's like, nice. she's like knee height. I'm bloated. Same. But she's a fat though. Sure. And Are she's okay? not graceful whatsoever. What doing? Well, I got a little so chilly because she'll eat only because she's not hungry and then she'll pop the water. Like she's the kind of dog you can leave the entire bag of food out. No, not exactly. Like How many accidents? See, my dog was never like that. Yeah, she'll eat till she's like full and then she'll stop eating. My dog's not like that. And all she wants to do is run, so she's like super freaking fit. She's all skinny and muscly. Like, kids thought she was a girl. She's a boy dog. She goes to the dog gym all the time. My dog is so gentle that my mom can even walk my dog. My dog doesn't fold. And my mom is Why did I do that? It's so hard to get to run it My mom literally does not walk her dog. But yeah, don't want to go. Oh my god, look at that chunky little thigh. I know. Who is that? No, it's like So, where my parents live, like a mile away is the high school. My mom goes, walks to the high school, and then walks to the high school. are the cutest. My mom will push the dog in the trailer all the way there. What did I miss? My nephew. I know, look at this roll. Oh my god. Look at chunky thighs. Oh my god. No neck. Is anyone still eating? Box, please. Thank you. Box. I know. I'm so excited. I gotta show you mine. Yeah, let me see it. Take the extra rice with me. Yeah. Pretty sure I'm still full from lunch. Yeah, right? That's so good. That's the first thing I ordered. Yesterday. I didn't have the lunch that they brought. I had my own little lunch. Wait, you didn't have the lunch today? No. No, by the time this they is karate, it, baby. <laughs> this is so cute. Look at those almond eyes. What is it? We're just going to start there. Is oh. that a boy or a girl? Boy. Oh, okay. we got to get a better photo. I can't tell what's happening. Granted, I just showed you one where mine has clothing on his head. So. Oh, true, true. oh, he's so little. <laughs> Look at so those happy. dimples. Oh. He's, is he a church? He's getting christened, isn't he? He's wearing the Pope outfit. I know what's going on there. <laughs> <laughs> you do. Oh, yeah, I, I need more baby gate yeah. pictures. Mm -hmm. Is my face still really red? Not as. <laughs> you look sweaty. No, I just saw my face for like two days. I'm not though. Like, okay, okay. I'm just completely dry. Uh, I'm a hard time. My face is really hot. Just hold the girl. Hard. 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 She did not. That, that was no, not your face is hot. She's not in my presence. Oh. Unless I just completely missed it. That's possible. Oh. I was so normally uh, intoxicated there. Yeah, so, uh, true, true. There's a high probability that I missed whatever that was. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure she missed it. Yes, please. Thank you. <laughs> there better be Rohit in there. <laughs> <laughs>